Kazumi Totaka is a very well-known video game composer that has worked on many well-known titles, but has he put a secret song in every game that he's worked on? So hand the game from Mars and this is the Totaka Song Theory. Totaka's song is a 19 note tune that seems to be secretly placed in all the games he has worked on. Even though Totaka has worked on dozens of games, his secret song has only been discovered in 16 of them. The main reason the song is so hard to locate is due to the fact that it's hidden so well. I'll now go over some examples of how the song is hidden. Totaka's song was first discovered in Mario Paint which was released in 1992. Known as the Mario Paint song at the time, all you needed to do to trigger it was click the O on the title screen. For years Mario Paint was thought to be the first game with Totaka's song, until it was discovered on the Game Boy game X which was released months before it. X was a 3D first person shooter that was never released outside of Japan. To trigger you go to the fake scientist screen on mission 4 and wait 40 seconds. The funny thing is that almost 20 years later the sequel Xscape was released on DSiWare with the song in the same exact place as the original. In Super Mario Land 2 you must wait 2 minutes and 30 seconds on the game over screen to trigger the song. The method of waiting on a certain screen for a period of time is the most popular way of the song being activated. Other games using this method include Link's Awakening, Yoshi's Story, Pikmin 2, and Luigi's Mansion. In all three Animal Crossing games, you can find Totaka's song by approaching the dog KK Slider and requesting him to play the KK song. The interesting thing is that the character KK Slider is inspired by Totaka, which explains why he plays it in the game. It's also worth mentioning that the song could be found in the Animal Crossing e-reader game Who Done It. It seems that in the excitement of trying to be the first to discover where the song is hidden in every game, some start hearing it when it's simply not there. What I'm referring to is the rumor that in Wii Sports Tennis you can hear the song by listening to the sound of the tennis racket hitting the ball. I think it's very clear that the power of suggestion leads people to the conclusion that the song is there even though it isn't. So it still remains a mystery where the song is in Wii Sports. While there's really no way for me to say for sure if Totaka's song is in every game he composed, I can't assume that it's in most of them. The fact that we're still finding the song in newer games shows that no one's stopping him from putting it in there, so why would he stop? The fact is, the only person who knows the answer to these questions is Kozumi Totaka himself, and I doubt he'll answer them anytime soon. So that was my quick overview of Totaka's song, and if you have any other questions about where the song is located in other games, please view the description below. On another note, I've gotten a lot of requests to do a personal game collection video, so uh, here it is.